Hello? Can you hear me? いないのかな Sammy, can you hear me? Yeah, so I think we can uh, wait for uh, one more minute to start it, to start this talk. Yeah. Hmm? Sorry. Uh, we can wait for one more minute to start. One more minute. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. wait here.
Yeah. こんにちは。I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Late. Too late. No problem. We waited one minute. Ah, I understand. Ah, good morning. 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 Yeah, I think we can、uh, start now anytime. Yeah. And this、uh, session is、uh, recorded. Yeah. Oh, recorded. Okay. Yeah. So we will upload to、uh, YouTube、yeah. as well. I see.、Yeah. I see. Okay. I will start my talk. Okay.、Uh, now I can start. Okay. Yeah. Okay.、Uh, yeah. yeah. I see. I see. Okay.、Um, Thank you for taking the time to watch my talk. I'm very happy to be able to talk at Paika Hankan 2020 Spring.、Uh, my talk title is Decade of PyCon JP How We Spread the Python Community in Japan.、Uh, I'm Takano Suzuki from Japan. Today, today, I will. Talk about the 10 year history of PyCon JP and how we organized the conference and it's grown since it was launched. And I will talk about the various activities. It is spreading Python committees in Japan. At last, I will talk about what we are going to do in the future. Uh, I'd be happy to be, give you feedback, feedback on Twitter. Hashtag is sharppyconhk. And the slides available on GitHub. GitHub.com slash Takanori slash slides. Please check it out. And If you have any questions, please write to Slido. Go to Slido website with your web browser,、uh, www.slido.do, and enter event code 11227. Then Slido event page will be displayed.、Oh, before the main topic, I will introduce myself.、Uh, I'm Takanori Suzuki.、Uh, my Twitter is Takanori. Please follow me. I'm vice chairperson of PyCon JP Association. And I'm director of p p r o d Inc. I'm also active in several Python related communities.、Uh, Python Bootcamp, Python Mini Hackathon, and Python Bouldering Club. And last year,、uh, 
Uh, I was trying to talk or poster at Python conference around the world, which I called the PyCon tour. I presented at nine conferences on the tour, mostly in Asia. I'm happy to talk at PyCon Hong Kong 2020 spring, but I've never been to Hong Kong. So I'd like to visit Hong Kong next conference. <laughs> and I want to drink Hong Kong's craft beer. Now, let's get back to the main topic. First, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the history of PyCon JP. The story goes back to 2010. Uh, Singapore hosted the first PyCon APAC and four Pythonistas attended the conference from Japan. Uh, Yasushi Masuda, Manabu Terada, Ian Lewis, Iqbal Abdera. And they met first time, they met for the first time in PyCon APAC. And they, they enjoyed first PyCon. When they came back to Japan, they think we'd like to hold PyCon in Japan. Next year, in January 2011, we held the first, first PyCon in Japan. And I'm one of the organizers of the PyCon, uh, this, this first PyCon. We named the event PyCon Mini JP. We added the word mini, mini to indicate it was a trial event. It was a small event with one day single track, seven talks, four sponsors, and 136 participants. Then the event was a success. This is PyCon Mini JP website. It's so simple. Uh, PyCon Mini JP was a success for us. So, we hold PyCon JP every year since 2011. Uh, there is, uh, PyCon JP is an international conference. There is English talks and Japanese talks. And in 2013, we held PyCon APAC in Tokyo. It was first PyCon APAC to be held outside of Singapore. Uh, since 2013, we've held PyCon APAC on a rotating basis across Asia. For example, uh, Taiwan, Korea, Malaysia, Philippines. And this chart is number of participants of PyCon JP. <clears throat> the number of participants are growing for 10 years. Currently, about 1,000 people are attending PyCon JP. Uh, conference dates, number of talks, and sponsors are increasing as well. One day conference to four days conference include tutorial day and sprint day. And seven talks to 47 talks with uh, multiple track and four sponsors to 43 sponsors. PyCon JP has grown. I'm going to talk about how we organized and managed PyCon JP. Uh, organizer team uses a variety of communication tools for organizing PyCon JP. Slack for chat communication and Jira for issue management. Uh, similar to is Asana or Torero or something, and Google Drive to, for file sharing, spreadsheet or documentation, and GitHub for source code management, and Google Calendar and Google Apps. Google Apps 
uh, manage the uh, pycon.jp domain and email, email address, and compass for event management and uh, participant management. In 2013, we have established a general incorporated association. The name is PyCon JP Association. The purpose of association is to manage money and contract for PyCon JP event. The association is run by five or six board members. And I have been a board member since 2013 and now I'm a vice chairperson. Uh, if you're interested in JP Association, please check this URL, www.pycon.jp slash committee slash English. Uh, I was the chairperson of PyCon JP event, not association, from 2014 to 2016. The event organizer team and association are different, different, team, different organizations. And I changed event organizing because of the size of PyCon JP and the number of staffs. Uh, size of PyCon JP is growing and number of staffs increasing. Uh, I changed. PyCon JP event team, organizer team, to more open. The purpose is to get more people interested in the event team and to provide a reference for other technical events. Uh, for example, Ruby Kaigi or a PHP conference or something. And I opened every staff meeting to make it, uh, I opened every staff meeting uh, to make it easier to new staff to join our meeting. The, uh, meeting wa the meeting was open to guest participation and some people went from guests to new staff. And we regularly publish our activities meeting or workday on the blog to get interested in event management. And we created an operation manual and made it reusable. And operation manual uh, published at manual.pycon.jp. This is manual, uh, PyCon JP administration manual. Uh, but PyCon JP uh, administration manual is right in Japanese. This is translated by Google Translate, Google, Google Translate. And the staff, uh, for example, the staff activities and team management and uh, several teams, secretaries team and media team and the venue teams, the uh, operation manual. Uh, next activity is PyCon mini event. In 2015, PyCon Mini, uh, small PyCons in the region were held in Sapporo and Hiroshima. Uh, and we shared, we means uh, PyCon JP team or association shared operating know-how and supported public relation and money and people to local, organi or local organize the team. And we also provide subdomain of PyCon JP for PyCon Mini website. For example, uh, sapporo.pycon.jp and uh, hiroshima.pycon.jp. This is list of PyCon Mini events in Japan. It has been held 13 times in seven cities. And PyCon Kyushu is held all over Kyushu area. Uh, in 2018, Fukuoka, 19 in Okinawa, 20 in Kumamoto. Now uh, this is map of PyCon Mini. Uh, this is Hokkaido, PyCon Mini Hokkaido, Sapporo, and Shizuoka, Osaka, Hiroshima, 
and Kyushu area, Fukuoka, Kumamoto, Okinawa. I will talk about uh, Python bootcamp activities. In 2016, PyCon JP Association launched Python bootcamp. Uh, Python bootcamp is half day hands on for beginners. We teach an uh, introduction to Python programming. The purpose of the event is to spread Python around Japan. I or another instructor visit all over Japan to teach Python for beginners and connect with local people and help to run the local community, local Python community. Uh, we hold in cooperation with local staff and local teaching TA, local teaching assistant for Python Bootcamp. Uh, every Python Bootcamp. This is basic timetable. From starting uh, self-introduction for with uh, the teacher instructor, the TA staff and uh, participants. And uh, we teach from the basics of Python programming. For example, data types and file I.O. and module. Then we teach the web scraping with hands-on style. After the event, we go to the party with local staff and TA and the participants. And it is a fun time for me. This is text book of Python Bootcamp uh, on the pycamp.pycon.jp. But this text is right in Japanese. This is translated by Google Translate. And uh, we created Python Bootcamp t-shirts, these t-shirts. Um, and we are giving t-shirts to people who have contributed twice, twice as a staff or a teaching assistant. Then a lot of people contributed to Python Bootcamp and now 32 people have t-shirts. So many people contributed Python Bootcamp as a staff or a teaching assistant. Result in numbers of Python Bootcamp. We hold 41 times in four years with 970 local participants in Python Bootcamp event. This is map of Python Bootcamp. We held Python Bootcamp in 34 prefectures. The rest are 30 prefectures. And several local communities have been launched in the wake of Python Bootcamp. Uh, for example, most cost of good. Ah, sorry. Sorry. For example, uh, Shingen Pai in Yamanashi and Shonan Pai in Kanagawa and Unagi Pai in Shizuoka and Great Hiroshima in Hiroshima and Udon Pai in Kagawa. Udon is a uh, soul food of Kagawa, Kagawa people. And uh, PyCon JP has more people coming from local area. Uh, they are the participant at, on the Python bootcamp as a staff or a TA. This photo was taken at the Python Bootcamp poster session on the PyCon JP. And they are the, uh, we gathered the Python Bootcamp posters and this is impressive time for me. So many people uh, came to PyCon JP from all over Japan.
uh, in 2019, we started a new activity by Sun Boot Camp Caravan. The motivation of Python Boot Camp Caravan. Uh, no candidacy from new prefecture for Python Boot Camp. Conversely, let's visit local region from Tokyo. I'm looking for, we are looking for the new prefecture for Python Boot Camp. Then we decided to have a PyCon JP booth at the OSC Open Source Conference. Open Source Conference is an open source event in Japan. And the Open Source Conference uh, held all over Japan, several regions. And the last year, we had a booth at six locations Okinawa, Sapporo, Nagoya, Kyoto, Shimane, and Fukuoka. And we introduced PyCon JP activities, handed out Python stickers at, the, at our booth, and gave a talk about Python syntax. This photo is a uh, PyCon JP booth, and we discuss about Python, uh, PyCon, Python Bootcamp or PyCon JP for with attendees, local attendees. Next, uh, regional meetup. Uh, uh, in 2019, we launched, we launched the regional meetup. The purpose of regional meetup is a stronger relationship with the local communities. Because uh, several local communities launched all over Japan. And the event, the event held at PyCon JP 2019 with local community members. We discussed the sharing of ideas and the worries that the local communities had. For example, uh, organizer member, uh, participants, uh, talk management, or uh, venue management, uh, money, money counting, accounting, or something. Uh, about 30 people gathered from all over Japan for the meetup. We discussed uh, several uh, worries and uh, ideas. Then we hold online regional meetup. About 15 people from all over Japan participated in the meetup, in the online meetup. And we've, start, we've just started the meetup, regional meetup. So we are going to continue to hold it online and offline. Summary of this talk. Uh, we have spread Python throughout Japan with various activities. Uh, PyCon JP and regional PyCon mini event and Python Bootcamp teach event and Python Bootcamp caravan and regional meetup. I think it's important to be face-to-face -face communication for the spreading by, for, for spreading community. First, we go to meet local people, and the reunion makes the relationship stronger. For example, the first time I went to local area with on the Python bootcamp. Next time, Python bootcamp TA or staff can, will come to PyCon JP and we, we, we union. In the future, we hope to hold PyCon JP outside of Tokyo. And we hope to hold Python Bootcamp in all prefectures, west to certain cities. And hold PyCon Mini in more cities. 
but uh, many things are going to change with COVID-19. Several countries switch it to online event. For example, US PyCon and Euro Python, PyCon APAC in Malaysia, PyCon Korea, and PyCon JP. However, I wonder what the difference would be if we held online events in different countries. What's the difference? Uh, US PyCon and Euro Python is the first difference. Online is easy to attend from a foreign country like me, like me this time. But online makes me feel less like I attended PyCon Hong Kong because now I'm in Japan. I'd like to meet the local participants offline with offline. And let's go have a beer together next time. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my talk. And uh, I will check the question. Oh, wait a moment. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay. Uh, Pico Mini also Minis also have a Japanese and English trust trucks too. Uh, I think PyCon Kyushu also have Japanese and English, but other PyCons not have English trucks. But if you if you interest the PyCon Mini, uh, you can send the English proposal to PyCon Mini event. Uh, okay, time is up. Uh, next. Second question, I will answer on Twitter. Okay. Uh, my talk is done. Uh, my Twitter is, is at Takanori. And I, I've shared my this slide, github.com and Takanori slash slides. Please check it. Thank you for listening to my talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We will start this session at another uh, 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 virtual meeting. Yeah, thank you, Susika. Thank you.